Africa is undergoing a transformation. By the year 2050, its 54 countries will be home to 2 billion people. Two in five will still live in the countryside, but three in five will live in cities. Africa is growing fast in economic, output, energy needs and electricity needs. For example, in Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania, output has been growing 13% per year and electricity use has been growing 7% per year. If this continues, electricity needs will quadruple in just two decades. Renewable energy, clean, reliable, indigenous and affordable, is well positioned to fill these needs. Together, Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania have identified about 15 gigawatts of cost-effective geothermal potential and 40 gigawatts of cost-effective hydro potential. There are more than 1,000 gigawatts of theoretical wind potential, much of which is economically competitive. Typically, renewable electricity costs 3 to 8 cents per kilowatt hour for large-scale hydro, 5 to 10 cents for geothermal, and 5 to 14 cents for wind power. In comparison, electricity tariffs are higher, ranging from 6 to 17 cents in Eastern Africa and 13 to 16 cents in most of Southern Africa. So renewable power can compete in the marketplace without subsidies. The World Bank estimates that power trade in the region could displace up to 20 gigawatts of thermal generating capacity from gas, oil or coal and reduce the power system's operating costs by a billion dollars a year. But renewables need a strong transmission grid to realise their potential. The stronger the grid, the greater the ability to move clean, competitive, renewable electricity generation to areas dominated by fossil fuel generation from gas, oil and coal. A stronger grid will also make service more reliable, reducing losses from power outages that cause a 2 to 6% cut in East Africa's economic output. And a stronger grid will reach out to the 5 out of 6 East Africans who are not yet connected to it, bringing electricity to light homes, power manufacturing industry and generate jobs. The first step to building a strong East and Southern Africa clean energy corridor is to understand the renewable energy potential. IRENA will help countries assess their wind and solar potential to figure out how much can be developed in a cost-effective fashion. The second step will be to work with electric utilities and planning authorities to determine how much renewable generating capacity should be added to their plans over the next quarter century. The third step will be to work with the Eastern and Southern Africa power pools to determine the investments in transmission lines and smart grids that are needed to integrate the additional renewable generation. IRENA will engage with stakeholders to build consensus on the amount of renewable power that can be added, the transmission grid enhancements that are needed and the means of financing them. Ultimately, a clean energy corridor in East and Southern Africa may link with Northern Africa creating a more diversified, more secure, more sustainable, more renewable power mix.